I'm Gavilan Steinman. This is Will. This is Mike. They're both from V3 Innovations, and they have something very exciting to share with us. Uh, what What are you currently working on? Oh uh, well. Uh, when I first built my printer, I uh, got a really cheap hot end off of eBay, and it was just the worst experience ever. So we just uh, we thought this is horrible. This could, could be something better. So then we started designing what we call the Pico. It's an all metal, all stainless steel, uh, hot end. Uh, no, no peak, no Teflon to melt, and uh, it's been performing uh, beyond our wildest dreams. It's been great. That's awesome. I know from personal experience, I have used at least five extruders in the last couple of years. Wow. And every one of them, including the one I'm currently using, has failed on me. Wow. And I feel like one of two things either happens, either the thermal barrier breaks, mm -hmm. basically, or uh, the the sensors stop working, so so it jams. Mm -hmm. What have you done to resolve both of those issues? Well, we spent both of us and Mike more so. We spent hours and hours and hours in SolidWorks simulating everything before we even before we even went to a shop to get this made. And by the way, we've been laughed out of so many machine shops trying to get this made because the tolerances are so ridiculous and it's it's such a hard part to machine. We had to find somebody specializes like in aerospace and they do things for NASA in, in Cleveland, Ohio for them to get it made. But you can see like with, with our thermal bar barrier, you could almost touch the top of the hot end and uh, on the cooling things and you'd be fine. Yeah, so and uh, we're printing at 260 right now and uh, the top's around 50 C. Very cool. So how much, I'm really excited about this because I've, I've mm -hmm. gone through five extruders already. How much are these going to be selling for? Um, we're hoping, we're going to do a Kickstarter and uh, it's coming soon. Uh, hopefully in the next two, three weeks or so. Okay, and wow. So, yeah, so in de depending on, 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 we're going to see what our demand is this weekend and because and, the more we order, the cheaper we can get them. Yeah, so that's it's where, just that's where basic manufacturing, higher numbers you can get, the cheaper. So. You know, if we get as much support as we can from that, then we can give it at a nice um, compact time. But I can say we'll be in be in line with everything else, definitely. It will not be... Uh... So I can put this on my printer in a few weeks? In four, yeah. maybe four weeks? Well, Kickstarter well, Kickstarter will for, run for 30 minutes, yeah. or 30 days, and mm -hmm. then uh, probably... Well, after Kickstarter, we're thinking, you know, we have, all, we have multiple manufacturers in line, so mm -hmm. in case one messes up, and we have, yeah, hopefully all the suppliers will come in uh, and... Uh, I'm thinking within four weeks after Kickstarter, we'll start, we'll be shipping. Yeah, yeah so you're talking two, two months, a little over two months. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, uh, we're so particular about leaks because that's what, that's what drove me nuts for, after spending so much money building my first printer and I was so excited and all of a sudden it starts leaking and I'm like, so we even designed, we went in further and designed our own nozzle. Uh, it's, it's on there now, otherwise I'd show you, but uh, we use a tapered thread. Uh, Mike can tell you more about that. Yeah. So, so the one-piece construction takes care of all the leaks uh, that you'd have in a multi-structure hot end. Um, usually, other hot ends are comprised of PTFE and other types of plastics and even wood. Um, you get leaks out of that. So ours is one-piece structure with a nozzle, um, and so our only leak point would be at the threads. But we've taken care of that with. Um, same threads that they use in natural gas pipes in the cast industry to, to stop leaks, which is uh, tapered threads. Yeah. And it's a, it'll be a, a, a M6 size thread, so you could even use an, another, if you have another nozzle that's uh, straight six, uh, M6, it'll still fit in ours because the, the thread on, the, on the, uh, the stainless steel part, the Pico, will still accept a straight thread. Yeah. And then uh, the really cool part is the vertical heater. So the uh, this isn't drilled out because uh, this is the scrap from machining, but the heater will be vertical and the wires come out the side and you can barely see it on there, but uh, it's, it's a all very clean very compact package. design. Yeah. We, were, we wanted something really beautiful and uh, these holes are prototypes, but we'll, we'll only have one hole for the thermistor and everything's interchangeable. Partridge heater, will be, you'll be able to change it out and uh, also the, the thermistor. So if, in the rare case they do fail, you just swap them out. They're not cemented in there or anything like that. Yeah. This is stainless steel, right? Yeah, I'll say it'll be 30, uh, 303 stainless steel. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I'm really excited to get one. So thank you both for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.